Dodge. Well, I'm out here with Baby Yoda, my 86 Toyota pickup truck. It might be an 87 uh, 4x4. And it's been a minute. So I thought I would do an update video, tell you what's going on, what's coming up, everything like that. Um, I've been really ciphering on, do I finish up the 22R that had fuel injection issues? I put a new head gasket on it. Um, basically, the engine only has 3,000 miles on it. Do I finish that up? Or, in the back of my head, I've thought about this. I would love to do an electric conversion on the truck, um, taking the components out of a Nissan Leaf and putting it in this truck, and it would still have a clutch, maintain the uh, transmission and everything, but you'd have an electric drivetrain. Now, I know EVs are pretty hot right now, but I just think that would be super cool, mainly for the fact of this. I've got two Wranglers. I'm going to probably, the blue one I'm going to be working on here shortly. Uh, painting it and probably sell it. Uh, I've got the white one that we restored. The Wrangler that I restored that's complete, uh, it has a death wobble. So it's going to be going down to Nick at CNF Tires and we're going to figure out what's worn out, broken, misaligned with this thing so Jennifer can drive it with the top down because that's her jam. <laughs> I've got a 2022 Ford Maverick, which I absolutely love. I love that truck. It's a hybrid. Uh, so what am I going to do with another pickup truck unless it's something different, which would be an electric one would be super cool. Uh, I think it'd be a cool project. I'd love to get your thoughts on uh, that. I don't know if we'll do a crowdfunding thing or whatever's going on with that, but um, I think I could go buy a Nissan Leaf for, you know, three, four, five thousand dollars and convert this one over. Uh, and that would be a pretty cool project. It's kind of what I'm thinking. In the meantime, let's see, I've put in mini splits. I installed a sprinkler system. I installed this mini split in my bedroom because my wife loves it super cold. And rather than making the whole house an icebox, I can just do the bedroom. And this one cost me about 600 bucks total shipped. And it works like a super champ. Um, been working on the Maverick, trying to clean up back here. So anyway, that's what's been going on with me. But... The series of converting this over to an electric truck because it's small, lightweight, four-wheel drive, one of the best trucks Toyota ever made. Um, I think that would be uh, a very interesting prospect. I've reached out to some people that have done it. I uh, haven't got any answers. A conversion kit looks like it's going to be twenty to thirty thousand dollars, right? That's what it looks like if you just went out and bought a conversion kit. Um, that's what it would cost. So my biggest question is, how do you couple the electric motor with the transmission. I know there's some adapter plates they make and things like that, but um, I could turn around and sell the 22R motor because it's in pristine shape. I put, like I said, I put the new head on it and the new head gasket. So it's basically either I'm going to fire it up and start doing the bodywork on it or going to make it an electric. The Wrangler, I'm going to start doing the bodywork on it. We're going to be doing a paint job on it. And tomorrow I leave for Italy. The country that's across the world uh, with a couple other couples. I'm going to have some videos on that, just kind of fun videos. And then as soon as I get back, we're going to get busy on getting busy uh, as far as like getting this truck either running with the 22R or get it converting with, uh, with an electric. And I'm still kicking that around. But I'd love to get your comments on it. Uh, hopefully we'll have a bunch more videos coming up. Appreciate you watching. Any questions, comments, which I would love to hear about this theoretical project. Uh, post them below. I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.